Let's get the really scary truth out there, CNN estimates that half of Americans are saving nothing for retirement. Half of Americans aren't saving a dime. Why? I had savings until the economy crashed and my husband and I both lost our jobs right after buying our first house. It was awesome, our savings were gone in a flash and we almost lost everything before we even got started. Our mortgage company offered help but then lost the paperwork we sent them every month and charges us late fees that were as high as our actual mortgage. We managed to save our house and have spent the last four years catching up on late fees. Hopefully earnest saving can begin at the end of this year, as for retirement, hopefully I'll just die of cancer or something because I really don't have any options for it yet. I think that many people have similar reasons for not having retirement savings. I have a terminal illness and I actually feel lucky that I don't have to put money away for retirement because of it. Weird situation to be in for sure. Life is too short, terminal illness or not. I hope you can live to the fullest with the time that you have left. I live paycheck to paycheck. I scrape by. I live as frugally as I can. I spend $30 at most a week on food for two people, and sometimes, household items. I don't do anything fun, ever. I can't even spend money to buy new underwear, bras, socks, essential clothing. How am I supposed to save at all especially for retirement? More people are living paycheck to paycheck. Also college and credit card debt is swallowing people. Prices of everything is going up while wages are staying flat. I got a 3% raise this year. With our inflation rate I don't think I'm even flat. Also every retailer I have contact with is firing full-timers like it's going out of style and hiring desperate people for nearly minimum wage to fill the gaps. Only with the most short-sighted outlook does this make sense. The future of the American economy, if you can call it that, is being totally sold out for second to third quarter profit. These have risen dramatically over the past 40 years. The cost of education. The cost of housing. The cost of medical care. This has remained flat or has actually lowered for many in the same time period. Wages for labor. So, what can one save for retirement? What of the above three items can one cut back on? Don't forget medical bills. My wife and I are struggling to keep our heads above water thanks to these medical bills. Preach it. Oh my goodness. I don't even know how much I owe. But I'm on disability and how am I supposed to afford food and pay these bills back? Two reasons that I think mostly accounts for the statistics are people are stretched so tight economically that they have nothing left to save and people have become so molded by advertisers into believing they need and deserve everything they see and hear advertised through various media. They are literally brainwashed to be the way they are from cradle to grave. Since we have not all fallen into this pattern of thinking and behavior, there is clear evidence some of us are either resistant to it due to an unknown genetic factor or because of conscious efforts to break free of mental conditioning. Frugalites have shown proof they can change a life of habitual conditioning and set themselves free of being eternal wage slaves. We just need to help others achieve the same freedom. Personal Anecdote Time In 2011, we made 30% of our household income compared to 2008. In addition to that, wife needs meds not covered by insurance. $210 a month. Base insurance had doubled too, buying individual insurance is fun, people. So, I am not saving for retirement. Maybe next year. If you don't think you will both alive and unincarcerated at age 50, there's not much point in saving. Just a thought for the but they can afford an iPhone crowd. Turns out people like things. My aunt and uncle are both pharmacists, they both bring in around 100k. They are eternally broke. Their house. Isn't that nice, but they just have a ton of stuff, take frequent vacations, concerts, baseball games, etc. They also sent three kids to private school college. 
When their dog got sick they had to borrow money from my mom for the vet bill. Personally I save about 60% what I bring home. My mom saves more like 80%. Personally, if I was making $100,000 a year, I'd consider baseball games, concerts and travel the best things to spend money on, I'd add food in there as well, cooked myself of course, and of course proper care for my pets, but I do agree that tons of unnecessary stuff, as in material possessions specifically, is a pointless money sink. On my deathbed, I'd rather look back and realize I've enjoyed the life I've had with my loved ones, traveling, eating good food, and enjoying culture and activities I love than contemplate a houseful of crap I'm about to abandon anyway. I do live this way as much as possible, just on a much smaller scale than a $100,000 year salary would allow. Besides, nosebleed seats at Camden Yards are cheap, and that is my favorite place in the entire world. My parents are both self-employed teachers. They're just glad they make enough money to get day by day. They plan on working until they physically cannot anymore. Saving for retirement has become a luxury option in this economy for many people. How does one become a self-employed teacher? I will pay so much into social security, surely it will still be around in 45 years. For me, I'm still in school with a low-paying part-time job, can't afford to save. You can't afford to rely on SS in the future. 